assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udu technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about udu external api which is called xml rpc so like in udu internal models we can extend it by creating custom modules but uh, in case if uh, you need to integrate udu system with some other applications like which is developed in other languages so you can connect it uh, by using xml rpc which is udu uh, something like external api so you can connect external application with udu easily using this external api so there are something that you need to keep in mind uh, in order to connect with uh, udu using uh, external api like xml rpc so some of them i will discuss here so first of all you need to have uh, the user id uh, like the user name which you need to use for to log into the Udo database. You should have the user password, you should have the database name and the link to the database. So in this case, like uh, I have this Udo uh, running on the server, like on the local server. So the link for this Udo instance is uh, like localhost and then uh, the port number. So in your case, it might be a URL, like something localhost.com. So it may be like this, but in that, case the port number is hidden so i would use the, the full url is uh, localhost and port number and the next thing is to set the user name and the password so you can uh, set it from the google uh, when you log into the database okay so first we need to set these parameters so for this purpose i will just copy it and in the py jump i have just created a python file so i will just paste it here so I just need to add uh, the uh, parameter like the, 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 the URL is localhost and 8069 which is the port number. So the database name is Odo discussions which needs to be inside single quotes because it needs to be passed as a string. Password is admin and uh, so username is admin and password is also admin. So these are the parameters that we need to uh, uh, pass to the request. So uh, then uh, we need to import this XML RPC dot client. Uh, it should be at the top, uh, like as always suggested. Okay, sorry. XML RPC like this. Okay, and uh, then what what we need to do is like, for example, we need to uh, we want to get the information. Uh, so like if you if you use any api so this, the recommended way is to first check the connection with the database if it is established or not so for this purpose you can use this endpoint uh, like uh, the url the base url which is uh, already saved uh, in the variable and then xml rpc slash r2 and then slash common so this is used to just check the connection with the database okay so let me just uh, copy it and then paste it here here what we need to do is to uh, print this uh, version information like this okay i will just execute this file so let me just run this file like uh, from xml rpc so we got uh, this error uh, unsupported xml rpc protocol so what is the problem here is uh, what we have added wrong so let me just uh, let me just check it Okay, let me just copy it like this. Oh, yeah, we made this mistake. We need to add HTTP and then localhost. Okay, and then remove this one. Okay, so then I just uh, rerun it, and you can get you can get these information uh, like this uh, version number. So uh, currently we are using Odoo 13, so you will get the correct version uh, here. So if I uh, change the password like if I add a wrong password so uh, I still uh, get this information uh, because it does not uh, require any uh, like something like the passwords because I am not I am just only passing uh, the URL so this is just to check if uh, the URL is working or not okay and uh, the next thing is to authenticate so authentication means like you need to add the username the password and the database okay so for this purpose uh, what we can do is uh, to pass uh, the db name which is 
our Uru discussion. Username is admin and password is admin. So let me just change it. And um, here I need to print what is UID. UID is actually the user ID which will be in teacher that uh, will be returned as this authenticate code. Okay, so let me just uh, execute this file and let's see what uh, we, uh, we see on the screen. Mm -hmm. So here you can see it is uh, printing to this is the user ID that we have authenticated. So let me just comment this out and uh, okay, so we need this uh, call, sorry, like this one, like this call, okay, and then uh, Okay, uh, so here you can see we can uh, see the print. So this is just an easy way to authenticate the database using Odoo XML RPC, which is called external API. So in the next video, we will discuss about how to make, how to call Odoo uh, different methods. So we will just retrieve data. We will uh, post the data to Odoo database. We will just call some uh, computed methods to return the data. So we will all discuss this stuff in the next video. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.